the context of this video is the counterclockwise air wrap. When I do it, it will look clockwise to you. So what you want to do is the opposite of what you're seeing me do on the screen to do it in the same direction I'm doing it in. This is relevant because when you're looking at the screen, you might want to make it look like mine, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to mirror it. First thing that's happening with these is the two poi are on your front plane. One of them, in this case your left poi, is spinning overhand. As you're looking at the move, you'll notice at the top of the point it's coming inward. So it's coming, it's in a downward motion at the point where the two of them strike together. Too far out, and what's gonna happen is you're not gonna actually hit the other poi, but too straight, and the poi can't hit either. So what you're looking for is, um, we're back to this whole triangle of power thing that I love, where you make this triangle, you rest your arms at neutral, and right at that point in front of you, you're, so, you're trying to kind of get the, the two point to be at that angle of the triangle, right? So it's a shallow, it's like a, it's not quite a V. I feel like a V is sharper. So it's a nice shallow set of angles right in front of you here. So your left poi is going to be angled a little this way. And your right poi, which is coming underhand and coming upward at the point of impact, you're going to have angled slightly this way. Now, where the two of them intersect, what's happening is a little wax on, wax off action. For those people old enough to remember that, you wanna have an equal and opposite force. If you have too much force with one of them, then it won't actually tangle. If you have too little force, the same thing. And then you wanna have up and down force, like this, not sideways force. Because what's happening is they're wrapping around each other and coming out this way to maintain the circle. I recommend if you're trying this and you have softer poi, it's maybe a little bit better because hard poi uh, tend to th thwack you in all kinds of places, fingertips. So the first thing is you need to have a clean split time. If your poi are not in clean split time, then you're not gonna be able to get the tangle properly. So both poi have to be going and it has to look like the poi or the tips, just the tips, are meeting in the middle. So in counterclockwise, you wanna scoop at the bottom of the turn and push up through the center. You wanna scoop over the top of the turn and push down through the center to correct the plane. Okay, so we're in counterclockwise. Left one's gonna push up, right one's gonna push down. And you want to go in the center, applying equal and opposite force in split time and pushing up and down rather than pulling to the side. Please do better than me. It's a terrible example. Now, if you are going through the motion and uh, you feel resistance on the string, that's appropriate because the, when the string hits, you should feel resistance. That's at the point at which you need to apply the a little bit of oomph to get it through. So the left comes up and the right comes down when you're in anti-clockwise. And that's where you apply your extra bit of force to push it through and get the rotation to work properly. If they feel like or look to you like, why don't mine look like yours? They seem like it's all in the head rather than in the center. So it's, it is it is true that it's a little bit easier for some people to, especially with socks, I noticed in my own practice, it's easier to connect closer to the tip like this rather than midway down the string, which which makes it look bigger. So I guess um, I guess you want to give it a little more shaft and you know more than just the tip if, if you're feeling like it's just at the end of the poise. So remember equal and opposite force. So one way to one way to focus on the equal and opposite force is to practice just moving the arms. So I'm not even trying to intersect them, even though I keep doing a fabulous job of them, but I'm trying to focus on my split time and having the two heads look like they're meeting in the middle while I move my hands up and down focusing on that up and down energy. Then, then lowering it down and moving it in to get yourself closer to the actual air wrap that you're trying to do. 
So if it's uneven and you're pulling through harder with one of the arms, so in this case, the left one pulls up while the right one pushes down. So if you're powering like that and it's uneven, it can sometimes lead to this outcome. You'll want to focus on, in this case, to correct it, focus more on the right arm uh, pushing down because your left arm is automatically doing your pull up. So just give the right a little bit more energy to get it to go through. That might be happening if it looks like you have an uneven amount of energy is you might not be coming in at uh, the same plane. Your left looks like it's more uh, like this while your right looks like it's more like this. So that's not equal and opposite. You need to be in a in a sort of equilateral triangle. Is that the right word for it? Where these the angle of the two poi, it, the plane is the same so that when it intersects, you, can, you have a nice equal X as opposed to like a skewed X like that.